In this video I'm going to show you how to pass platform challenges using one setup and one time theme that happens at one time of day. No daily bias is required and I've added a secret refinement that passes platform challenges in just one trade. It happens very often in the week and it is by far the easiest ICT strategy you will ever find. However, a lot of people are missing some key ICT concepts when they're teaching the strategy so a lot of people are trading it wrong. And if you're confused and you don't know where to start with ICT concepts, this simple strategy is for you. It's very rule based, very mechanical, I'll walk you through step by step everything you need to know as it's very easy to follow so let's get straight into it so what pairs does it work best on yo usd gbp usd and s p 500 for indices um, yo usd and gbp usd are the best for this as they're dollar correlated so the setup we're going to be trading is the london session optimal trade entry so this is 3 a.m to 4 30 a.m new york time 8 a.m to 9 30 a.m london time make sure you get these times right these are very important it's only an hour and a half so the time window is not long at all so the time frame we're going to be using are the 5 minute and 1 minute, mainly the 1 minute for the entry strategy. However, we're going, to, we're going to be marking out liquidity on the 5 minute and I'll show you live chart examples, so don't be confused. So the setup we're going to be trading is based off liquidity raids slash sweeps, market structure shifts with this FVG and displacement on the 1 minute time frame, and then the Fibonacci optimal trade entry with set rules. However, a lot of people have got the Fibonacci settings wrong and a misunderstanding ICT concept, so I'll go into this as well in more detail. It's very important to stick to the set time window as this is where the highest probability trades are based off my testing and it's very important to not over analyze when we're trading this so it's a very simple strategy you want to keep it simple so don't over analyze and we've got set risk to reward set take profit set stop loss to actually pass the platform challenges as it's very mechanical as i said and i'm also going to be showing you a secret hack to pass the platform challenge in one trade that i've not described over here i'm going to show it on the live chart examples but it's very important to stick to this theory first otherwise you won't understand the live chart examples so watch the full video so before our trading time, 8, 8 o'clock uh, London time and 3 a.m. New York time, we're going to let the market do whatever it wants. So we're going to be on the five minute time frame at this point over here. We're just going to let the market breathe. We're going to let the price accumulate liquidity before our session. And all we do on the five minute is mark out the most recent liquidity highs and liquidity lows. So remember, there's no daily bias, so we have to mark out both highs and lows. Ideally, the most recent highs and lows. However, you can also mark the previous session highs and lows as liquidity as well. However, we're going to be trading based off just one liquidity sweep, right? So the five minute candle, all we're going to wait for is a liquidity sweep. And a lot of people ask me, does the five minute candle have to close above or below? Or what's the situation with that? So as long as the five minute takes the high out first, if it closes above here or below here, it does not matter. As long as it moves and sweeps this liquidity here, that's all that matters because buy stops are being run. Then on the, after the five minute closes, all we're going to do is go to the one minute time frame and you'll see some structure like this on the one minute time frame. So what we're looking for on the one minute, we're going to look for the market structure shift. So after the liquidity rate on the five minute, we're going to wait for the market structure shift with FVG slash displacement. So. As you can see over here, liquidity was swept on the one minute for this example, for this sell example. Liquidity was swept again to the upside on the one minute, which is very common with the setup. And you'll know with experience um, and with time, you'll see that this setup happens actually quite a lot in the markets. There are a few variations which I'll show you in the live charts. However, this one is the most common. So we'll see a mini liquidity sweep after the main liquidity sweep on the one minute. And then what we'll see is a market structure shift. Now, what's the market structure shift? It's basically a break of structure, change of character, a change in trend, a change in market structure. Um, it's all basically the same thing. However, the main concept here is that price closes below this market structure shift level, this low with displacement, with FVG. It's vital. The bodies have to close below. It can't just be a wick. As you can see, um, if, there, if a wick happens right here, there's a chance that price could actually reverse and go in the opposite in the opposite direction. So, and then if you take that trade, you will be stopped out and it's not high probability at all. So you wanna take trades that are with body closures below this level over here. Then after this, all you're gonna do on the one minute time frame, and by the way, we're looking for the entries within our time window. So all you wanna do is mark out the leg that broke the structure over here that did the market, sh market shift um, from the high, to the low with this fib setting over here so all you want to do is mark out from the high to the low for this example and the settings you're going to have in your chart is the one level the 0.59 level the 0.14 level the zero level not minus 0.25 and minus one now why have i chosen these levels and not the classic ict um optimal trade entry levels so 
the optimal trade entry levels are from 0.62 to um, the 0.79 level. However, ICT favours the 0.705 especially, but he does enter at the 0.62 with his entry a few pips below or a few points if you trade in indices. So I've refined it to the 0.59, which is comfortably below the 0.62 and comfortably, comfortably above the 0.5, so it's still entering in premium. And what, what this will do is it'll tap us in and what we're looking for, which is the hack to increase the profits and pass the profit from challenge in one trade is look for the extreme FEG in premium, right? It has to be in premium and has to be around the optimal trade entry level, which I'll show you in the live chat examples. Now for the set take profits, we're going to mark out the 0.14 as our first take profit level. So why is this going to be our first take profit level? Because plenty of times you might, have, you will have seen this in the in the live markets. Prices just come to your uh, to the original low, and then prices stop to you out at uh, maybe your stop loss if you haven't moved your stop loss to break even because you're expecting the zero to be hit. So I've seen this a lot of times based off live market analysis. I've changed the first TP to the 0.14 level at a set risk to reward of one to one. So at this point, you can either manage your trade, move your stop loss to break even. I like letting my uh, trade breathe, so I don't move my stop loss to break even instantly. However, you can manage the trade however you want at the first take profit level. Then our second take profit is going to be the minus 0.25 level right here for a set one to two. Remember, it's a rule based system. So set one to two over here. And our last TP for this strategy over here, because we're going to be trading on the one minute. So it's quite short term trades. It's not we're going to be we're not going to be holding it for long amounts for long times, long periods. We're going to take the third take profit at a one to four. So it's a set system. However, the FEG trade that we take right here, which I'm going to explain on the live chart examples, can absolutely smash the platform challenge in just one trade. So what we're going to do is take the entry over here. We can refine our stop loss slightly. It could be above the high. I'll show you this on the live chart examples. So stick around. And our TP is going to be at the same low as the Fibonacci low, as the minus one low, the minus one standard deviation. And as you can see with this example right here, uh, by the way, I'm gonna obviously show you live chart examples, so this is just theory. But as you can see, this will give you high, high risk reward trades in alignment with the main trades that we're gonna be taking. And if you place just 1% risk on this, you can pass the platform challenge in just one trade. And you don't even have to put 1% risk on these uh, entries. You can put 0.5 risk because the, the risk reward is so high and you can get such high gains with this and pass the platform challenge in just one trade. However, before we get into the live market examples, if you're trying to pass your funded challenge or you're looking to get funded, then this automated trading bot is for you. Most people spend eight to nine thousand dollars in the space of four months before they reach their first funded account. But with this bot, you can avoid this waste of time and money by letting it pass the challenge for you 100% guaranteed. Our bot does not miss. It passes the challenge usually in a few hours in the same day. So the day after, you could be funded six figures trading live, making real profits. It's a zero risk investment. If you fail the challenge, you get a full refund. However, we've never ever failed the challenge, so you will be funded. That's 100% guaranteed. Get on this whilst it's still available. Click the link in the the description to get funded and don't waste time okay so for this example we're going to be um on the live charts at five on the five minute time frame we delineated our time window and we're going to mark out our sell side liquidity and our buy side liquidity so as you can see the most recent low is right here and we've also got another low right here and because there's no daily buys we're going to mark out the buys as well the buy side liquidity so they're going to be our main highs and lows that we're waiting to be swept so we wait on the five minute time frame for the candles to close. So as you can see, this is swept to the downside. So now if we get the valid confirmation on the one minute, we're going to take the trade to the upside. So let's look at the one minute. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of this line right here. So as you can see, after uh, our window opened, you can see price swept sell side liquidity. On the one minute, you saw it swept this mini liquidity right here. Let me just get rid of this. Okay, so as you can see, it swept this mini sell side liquidity on the one minute. So now where's our... Um, market structure high that we're waiting for a market structure shift at right here so all you're waiting for is a market structure shift with displacement and with feg so let's see how price moves away okay, so as you can see price body close above there with these two candles over here with this candle body close above so now all we do is pull out our fibonacci with our settings over here set um entry set stop loss set take profits and as you can see where's the f uh, where's the extreme feg in this leg right here it's right here and it's in it's in discount right so what we can do is enter like this with our set um entry set stop loss and our first cp could this could be our main tp could be this 0.25 level we got this first tp and this second tp here however we could consider taking full profits here why because we got opposing liquidity right here 
um, and we've got this whole order block region which price could reverse from so that's going to be our main tp we're not going to target the minus one in this case right however what's the hack to pass in the platform challenge in one trade this feg you enter at the top of it and you place your stop loss below the third the the FVG candle low. So as you can see, an FVG is made up of three candles, right? Three consecutive candles. So one, two, three. We place our stop loss below this low right here. Over here. You could put it below this low if you want. However, for the highest reward, you want to be placing your stop loss below this low. Okay. And then targeting the same take profit, right? This is giving you a one to three, whereas this is giving you a one to two, right? So let's see how price treats us right now. Okay, so price tags us in both our entries. And as you can see, price wicks us out right there for a solid one to five overall. And that's the first trade example. On to the second now. Okay, so for this example, this was literally today as well. So we've delineated, we've delineated our time window. And all we do next is we follow the rules. So where's our next sell side liquidity right here? Where's our next buy side liquidity from the previous session? And you could mark out these right now, but we're in this range right here. So um, I'll just say this one right here. This is the main high. Um, and this was the next main low. So all we're waiting for is a sweep in either direction. So or the most recent is the most important. So let's see what happens. Okay, as you can see, price swept buy side liquidity. So if we get the confirmation on the one minute now, we're going to take the cells down. So all we do is we scale down to the one minute time frame. And we look for that same setup. So as you can see, price swept this liquidity right here, which is also the mini liquidity on the one minute. And all we're waiting for now is a market structure shift. So where's the next main low? right as you can see there was a fractal low right here so you could be waiting for this low as well however this was the main low before the liquidity sweep so this high probability market structure shift low right i'm going to just get rid of these as well but now and all we're waiting for is price to break market structure market structure shift with displacement right so as you can see price is now body closed below this structure over here so what do we do pull out our fibonacci remember sticking to the same rules it's a very mechanical strategy right if then approach right so all we do is if price starts pulling back up from this area, okay, price is going a bit further down. So we just adjust our Fibonacci as it goes down. And then we just set our entry, set our stop loss, and then our take profit. So on the five minute, we could set our take profit right here. Okay, so as you can see, we just this fib right here. Where's our take profit going to be? So where's the next main draw on liquidity? That's the main ICT. That's the main thing ICT features. Where's our next main draw on liquidity? So as you can see, we've got a low right here. However, look nearer to our take profit levels. Have we got draws on liquidity? Yeah. So as you can see, we've got this low right here. Okay, that's a major low. And overall, after this, we've got not much traffic. We've got this low right here. So price would overall go to this low right here. So it would make sense for us to target the main the third take profit so we're still sticking to our rules we're not going to be targeting one to 100s because i'm a real trader right i'm sticking to the rules and i know what trading is like one to 100s i want to 50s all the time aren't realistic right you could get them um here and there however you'll be getting consistent one to fours one to fives they're more realistic right so now in this leg where's the hack to pass the platform challenge in one trade right in this leg where's the extreme fvg right here and as you can see the high of the fvg is the main high so we're going to be entering there as well and placing our stop loss in that same area however to maximize the risk to reward we're going to take profits at that same low and as you can see this gives you a 1 to 12 so if you were to risk um one percent on this and gain uh, basically just under one to four on this and just half a percent on this you get six percent on this trade four percent in this trade which is the um which is the usual requirements re requirements to pass the platform challenge so altogether you made ten percent in just this one trade now let's see how price treats this area okay so price is tagged in our first entry and if it doesn't tag us in this entry it's fine because we've still got this entry locked in right so and you might be thinking why is it outside of our trading time the setup was formed within the trading time so and now that we're already in the trade we're just going to have to hold it to the next take profit so ideally we want to look for the entries within our time window if they don't show we can still take our entries out um, outside of the time window if the setup has been made within our time window right as you see we've been tagged into our second entry let me just go on the five minutes to speed things up price has wicked us in and as you can see price is tanking away it's our first take profit right here 
and as you can see price smashes our next take profit for overall a 1 to 12 here and just under 1 to 4 and as you can see price keeps on tanking does it go to the next sell side liquidity as you can see it's taken out that sell side liquidity however realistically following the rules we wouldn't have taken profits there right we're just, we're just following the rules to pass the prop firm challenges so let's go on to the last example okay so for this example we've got a time window right here so literally the next candle to 9 30 and all we're doing is marking out the buy side and sell side liquidity remember there's no bias over here um because we've not got the daily bias right all you need is these two time frames right and we're looking for the main setup on the one minute so we wait for the five minutes to close after sweeping in any direction okay so it's close to the upside so if we get the valid confirmation on the one minute which are you market structure shift with displacement and fvg then we'll take the cells let's see how price treats this it's as you can see price runs away right so we track we keep tracking it right so now where's our new market structure shift low well at this point as because price has gone so high as you can see it swept more liquidity over here and the next main low the next main factor low before it swept this mini liquidity over here is this right here so we're not entering for sales right now we're not putting out our fib tool right now which is a mistake a lot of people would make they just say yeah it's closed below the body so the straight we pull the fib tool out no we have to wait we have to stick to the rules remember we have to stick to this rule based strategy we have to wait for the candle to close below with displacement and then wait for a retrace so let's see the next candle okay so as you can see the next candle closed below so now we could pull our fib tool out but it's like so place our limits on the 59 stop loss here and where could we target? We could target the one over here because we've got sell side liquidity right here. Okay, price. Hey, look, so price swerved us, right? So what do we do when price has swerved us? So it came close to our um to our entry, but then it ended up retracing. So after it hit around 50%, end up retracing. Now it's broken market structure again. So it's done another market structure shift, right? With displacement and it's left FVG. So we could wait for a retracement, right? Now we pull out our fib tool again, we're following the rules. So we pull out our fib tool like this entry on the 59 level stop loss above and where could we target as you can see the one level right here it's got some liquidity and let's see what price does okay it keeps dropping so once it starts retracing we'll adjust the fib like so 59 level entry stop loss at the one now where do we take profits 0.25 well yeah we got liquidity over here so this is a valid tp now this one level as you can see this minus one level remember the sell side liquidity that we marked out on the five minute right that was the uh, previous session low so this would be a very valid place to take profits right and we're sticking to the system so in this extreme leg where's the fvg right here so we're also going to put, uh, put an entry in there we're going to place an entry in there and our stop loss is going to go above the highs right our stop loss is going to go above the highs because the third candle the first candle of the feg is above the highs. so it's going to be in the same place however the tp is going to be in the same place so it's tagged in the 59 level so as you see price swerved us there will it uh, give us another chance okay as you can see price swerved our feg level however we were in on this level with a wick entry and as you can see price smashed the take profit for a one to four and remember guys this is a very very consistent strategy you guys should practice this yourselves and see what pairs it works best on for you guys however for me it's gbp usd and yo usd are my favorite pairs for this strategy spx 504 indices however i do prefer rx pairs and remember guys you can pass platform challenges in literally just one trade following this feg system and these are very consistent it's rule based remember this is maths right it's not me speaking it's maths right the, the math adds up right set a set of risk reward for each trade guys so if you were to get one to four consistently over three trades you've passed your challenge you've smashed your challenge and if you do get tagged in on the feg example which has happened lots of times previously before on the examples i've shown you then you will pass your platform challenge in one trade and just a reminder if you're struggling to get funded this is the service for you the automated trading bot will pass the challenge for you the link to the telegram will be in the description below to secure your spot get started and get funded now don't waste time that's all for today's video guys i'll see you next time peace